Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another achievement guide. This time it's for the game called The Letter. Now this is a horror visual novel. It has an MSRP of $19.99. It was developed by East Asia Soft and Yang Yang Mobile. It was published by East Asia Soft who gave me a review copy of this game. Um, overall, this game uh, I would say is really good. I'm not gonna go ahead and do a full review of it. Um, it's kind of a little creepy, eerie, however you want to call it, because like it says, it's a horror visual novel. But uh, what we're going to go ahead and start off doing is we're going to go down to options, because like all visual novels, there's things that you need to do. So obviously, I'm going to leave it on English. Let's go ahead and uh, move over. So you got to keep pushing down and to move over to the next section. So as you see, then it moves to the next. So I'm going to go over to right here skip stops at all text then we keep going skip mode instant text speed we're going to want to increase that to max and then go ahead and apply by hitting x make sure you do apply make sure you hit x there you go that was applied let's go ahead and back out of here and then what we're going to do is we're going to start a new game but what i first want to show you is that this game has 35 achievements, a thousand gamer score. Now I know everyone's like 35 achievement, that's a whole lot, that's not what you're used to seeing, but these achievements actually go pretty quick. You're gonna have to play this game roughly about three times. That's how long it took me in my last uh, playthrough to get my thousand. So hopefully I'm able to do that in this one and show you basically what's going on here. I will leave my key in the bottom on basically what to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick rundown. Basically the first playthrough, you're gonna basically choose the top choice every time. So I'm gonna call those number ones. Then the second playthrough, you're gonna choose all number twos. But there are some things in between that you're gonna to wanna to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk you through that. So let's go ahead and load up a new game. Once this gets started, come on, let's do this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is, as you see there's skip and there's auto. So you wanna stay on auto, push Y. And as you see up in the upper left corner, auto next. So then I'm gonna go to skip. So we're gonna go and skip right here to the very first choice. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and choose number ones. Hey, so number I one. Now there are some quick time events that we need to uh, do. One of them, we have to lose. So we're gonna lose the very first quick time event. Then after that, you have to win each quick time event, which in order to complete the story, you're gonna have to do anyways. And so let's go ahead and skip. And then we're gonna choose number one. And then we'll skip. Okay, so here, you just basically wait. Let the creepy lady come up to you and uh, touch you. All right, so there you go. You got an achievement for losing the quick time event. So let's go and skip this. Let's go ahead and continue. So make sure you choose continue. And like I said, those achievements are just gonna be popping. So we're gonna continue here. And this time, you're gonna go ahead and spam the X button because you don't want this creepy lady. So as soon as you push skip and the quick time event starts, just keep pushing the X. Gotta be quick at it. It's kind of a little struggle here. Come on, Mario Party is uh, easier than this. There we go. Beat the lady, got my achievement. And then we're gonna continue. So we're gonna skip skip until you get a choice and then choose the very first one then we're gonna skip choose the very first one skip choose the very first one and you're just gonna keep on doing that so basically I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking I'm not gonna tell you, you got to keep choosing the first one and skipping basically you keep doing that as soon as we get to the next uh, quick time event I'll go ahead and uh, tell you the next okay let me do that again it wouldn't hurt. Okay, here you have to push for it to stop, but you gotta be a little bit, your timing has to be uh, better than what I am. As you see, I lost all three lives. I was not able to stop in the middle. So I'm gonna push Y and it's gonna let me go ahead and do it again. 
you're going to keep attempting this until you actually get it. So move over to where it highlights skip. We'll push skip once. And there you go. I was successful that time. Oh, not successful that time. You got to get it three times. Boom. Successful. And successful. I got lucky on that one. I, it was no skill right there. I just kind of got lucky on it. So there's the second quick time event. So let's go ahead and skip and continue with our ones. But I guess. I was talking with Zachary. So you're going to either push X or you're going to push Y. And here, as you can see, I messed up that one. So I'm going to have to do it again. So we got to basically uh, hit the X or Y, depending on the side that they're on. Let's go to continue that again. So basically, the shortcut on here is hit X and Y at the same time and just rapidly spam it. And as you saw, I was able to make it by no problem. So that's kind of what you want to do. Very quick and easy that way. Okay, hit Y. And then let's go ahead and continue with uh, the number ones until we get to the next section. Oh. I don't know about you. Sorry, sir. I, I was just. My sister just had a baby. I think it would be better. It ain't too late. We. we... Okay, and here you want to take pictures. So you got to kind of go off the sound and just kind of take a picture. And if you get lucky and you get her in it, you pass. And it goes by the sound, but you only have so many pictures you can take. As you see, your battery's running low every time you take a picture. It does uh, shrink it down. Your battery life uh, is less. And so you got to move it around. Kind of see where you can take that picture at. You see a silhouette of the, the lady. Then take that picture. And so I'm moving it just to the side. Hoping I can get it. And silhouette. Boom. Got her. So I don't know if you're able to see that silhouette. You might want to play back that. And so just hold to the left and kind of spin around. And just basically, if you see a silhouette of the lady, then take the picture right then. And I kind of randomly did it the other time, so you can get lucky with your skills. All right, let's go ahead and skip past this. Okay, we're just going to keep on doing this. This is a longer visual novel than uh, most of them that I play. Each playthrough takes a, a bit longer, but it's because there's so many options in here. But at least it's only uh, three playthroughs. You're not going to go out there. And during the Mister, you have until the Got another quick time event right here. Can't really see what's going on because all these achievements are popping. But basically, it's sort of like the last time. So what we're going to do right here, because I don't want to deal with that. We're going to move on over to options. So let's go ahead and go into options. And then we're going to push RB to go over to gameplay. And we're going to go ahead and uh, come down to stop quick time events. 
So let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, Difficulty is not going to matter because obviously if you're not doing quick time events, it's not going to matter. Make sure though, you do apply it. So hit that apply button. And then let's go ahead and back out. And move back on over to skip. Let's go ahead and continue. We'll go ahead and skip because once again, we don't have to do that now. So skipping now all quick time events because all we have to do is complete four of them. Just stay busy and you'll... Thank you. You okay? You're... You okay? Forget it, Belle. All right, so there we go. That's the end of the first playthrough. Push B to kind of skip past all this and get back to the main screen. Okay, so there's the first playthrough. I'm gonna show you how many achievements you should have. Let's, let's go ahead and let them uh, keep on popping while we do this. But I have 28 out of 35. So we got seven more left after this second playthrough. Um, basically, you're gonna end up with 32 out of the 35. As long as you've kept up with what I'm doing, as you see, already at 890 points. So let's go ahead and uh, start a new game. Okay, and what's the opposite of uh, choosing number ones? We're going to go ahead and choose number twos. So let's go ahead and uh, skip past all this. And like I said, you're going to choose number two. And you basically want four achievements to pop. So if those four achievements pop, then uh, that's when you go ahead and quit out. We're sorry, ma'am. I rose. Okay, let me do that again. Don't bother. You are such a. Um, I'm just. Yes, I So there we go. One. I'll stop if it makes you I was just tending to the gardens. The achievement that you're looking for, which should be the fourth one, is need some advice, profess. So professor. So be on the lookout for that one or just count how many achievements pop. Number two. You look like you're about to pass. Number three. You ain't the only one stuck in this. And number four. So again, go back to look at our achievements. 32 out of 35. Okay. So here we go. Let's go ahead and quit out of here. So you go over to the side, push Y to quit. Yes, you want to quit. Okay. So this other one, this last playthrough, uh, I'm going to basically walk you through it a little bit slower just so that you make sure to get all these numbers. But once again, the key is below for it. So go ahead and check that out if you don't want to hear my voice. So... New game. Let's get past this. All right, skip. Okay, so it's gonna be one. Hey, I eat other things too. Skip. One and skip. Two. We're sorry, man. Skip. One and skip. One. Keep asking me skip. about my work. 
One, skip. Two, skip. One, skip. One, skip. And one, skip. All right, take a breather for a moment. All right, so now we're gonna go to two, skip. One, skip. Two, skip. One, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. All right, another breather. Now, one, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. One, skip. One, skip. One, skip. One, skip. One, skip. All right. More than halfway there. Two, skip. Two, skip. One, skip. One, skip. One, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. Two, skip. Are you all right there? One, skip. One, skip. And there we go. Let's check what we got. All achievements have popped. So, there we go. All 35 achievements, all in roughly about, I want to say, 17 minutes or so. You could probably do it a little bit faster if you do those quick time events uh, perfect the first time. Um, also, if you're not going off how slow I'm moving, I'm trying to move at a slower pace so that you go ahead and keep up with me. But like I said, I will be having the key in the bottom. So three playthroughs and you're done. Not even a full three playthroughs. It's kind of... Uh, the first one all the way through, the second halfway through, and the last one, I don't know, three quarters through. But hopefully you found this video informative. Overall, I think this is a game, if you're kind of into visual novels, uh, that would be pretty interesting to actually go through yourself and kind of just see what ends up happening. What's your story with one playthrough, not skipping anything, actually uh, seeing the story to this game. But, you know, if you're here just for the achievements, then, you know, 15 through 18 minutes later, you'll have them all. So until next time, Assassinator out.